hey, it's module 2.3, and we're gonna be talking about marketing strategies. I'm Jeff Berner, and I'm ready to strategize with you. Is strategize even a word? Let's go. So what is a marketing strategy? A marketing strategy is a plan of action designed to promote and sell a product or service. We're going to discuss several different marketing strategies that are often used in sports marketing. The first marketing strategy is sports logos on clothing. For fans of teams, this shows their fan loyalty. The logo gives an increased value to the product in the eyes of the buyer. Some get a feeling of success if they own products endorsed by a successful person. I mean, I always play better in my Air Jordans. Teams and colleges get royalties for merchandise that is sold. Royalties are a percentage of sales that are earned by the teams each time merchandise with their logo is sold to a consumer. The next strategy is new sports bringing new opportunities for endorsement and marketing. The XFL is an example of this. It was founded in 2001, but shut down after one season, but it was rebooted in 2018. What's some of the appeal of these new leagues? Well, for one thing, they can offer affordable ticket prices. They might offer close-up encounters and events with the athletes. And there's continuous action and new rules for everyone to enjoy a different aspect on an old sport. There are television broadcasts with new angles, new cameras, and different sponsorships than those with the NFL. So what are some other new sports that have sort of revolutionized the new sporting industry? Well, most of them appeal to the teen market. Some examples, skateboarding, snowboarding, ice climbing, my personal favorite, ostrich racing. I'm a big fan of that. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Underwater golfing. Are you kidding me? Flyboarding are just some examples of new sports. And again, with that teen target market, there's an incredible amount of disposable income so people can make big bucks. Another marketing strategy is based on gross impressions. Gross impressions are the number of times per advertisement, game, or show that a product or service is associated with an athlete, team, or entertainer. Your brain records the mental images and you remember when it comes time to buy. Brands that appear in movies, product logos, on uniforms are more examples of gross impressions. The next marketing strategy is timing. And this has to do with the popularity of a team or sport that continues to win. Fans want products and services that identify them with a winner. Winning trends of teams and athletes are monitored to determine marketing strategies. Competition is also very, very important and monitored, monitored throughout in this marketing strategy. Timing is extremely important when you're marketing sporting goods. Another strategy that is used somewhat controversially is called ambush marketing or stealth marketing. Ambush marketing takes place when organizations participate in events in some degree rather than being an official sponsor of that event. An example of that was in the 2012 Olympics. Beats Headphones was not an official sponsor of the Olympic Games, but the company sent headphones to several prominent athletes with their country's color on them. They got free advertising as many of the athletes wore them as they walked into competition. Now, the problem with ambush marketing is that it often causes confusion about who the real sponsor is. I'm going to include some more examples of ambush marketing at the bottom of the Schoology page. Again. Okay, we finished up marketing strategies. Like always, read through the material below on the Schoology page to reinforce the content from the video. 
Remember, vocabulary words appear in red throughout the page. When you finish, click on the link at the bottom right and it will take you to the Module 2 assessment. Good luck on that. Then it's on to Module 3. Thank you, young Padawans, and remember, may the Force be with you.